Zucker. Um, those of you who have had me know me as Mrs. Z. I am a music sub uh, for the elementary schools and I am an adjunct for band and strings. Um, what you might not know about me is that when I'm not in the schools I'm a professional songwriter uh, and singer-songwriter and I travel all over the country and I play songs. Um, so I thought that maybe now that everybody's sort of getting the hang of this distance learning thing and you have a little more time on your hands, you might want to learn how to play the guitar. Um, so we're going to start with some basics um, and then we're going to do a couple more videos that follow for a little more detail. Um, so let's get started. For those of you who don't know anything about the guitar, this is a guitar. You knew that. Um, let's talk about the uh, pieces of the guitar, the parts of the guitar. Uh, so we're all sort of on the same page with the nomenclature, with the, the names of things. So this big part, this is the body of the guitar. This is the head or the headstock. And I always make my students say, well, what's between your head and your body? Yes, that's right. It's called the neck. Um, on the front of the neck, there are these little metal strips and they make little boxes. We call those the frets. Um, and, and since the front of the neck is covered with frets, sometimes we'll just call that the fretboard. This is where you put your finger to create different notes. More melodic than that, hopefully, when we get done. Um, the strings are held in place by a few things. These are the tuning pegs, and each one of these controls a different string on the guitar. There are six strings. They're held down at this end by the bridge. And you can see there's these little dotted pegs that hold the strings in place. This is the hole where the sound comes out. So what do you think we call that? The sound hole. That's right. The strings are tuned to specific pitches and we like to name them from the lowest to the highest. Now, this is a little confusing. I call this guitaro bizarro world because the lowest sounding string, the string with the lowest sounding pitch, is actually in the highest position. The highest pitched string is in the lowest position. So, when we are going to talk about low and high, we're talking about how the note sounds to your ear, not its position on the guitar. So we've got six strings, E, A, D, G, B, E, E, A, D, G, B, E. I encourage all of my students to make up something called a mnemonic which is um, a sentence and each of the words in the sentence starts with one of these letters to help you remember the name and the order of the strings. So um, somebody brought this in to me and it made me laugh and I never forgot it so I use this one I and mean, you can make up anything you want as long as it helps you remember um, the name and order of the strings. Uh, so it was Eddie eight Dynamite, good, by, Eddie. Poor Eddie. I also had a student say, elephants and donkeys grow big ears. That's actually true. So that works too. Um, but you can make up anything you want. Here's how 
you hold this guitar. You can see that my, well, I might be backwards to you. This is my left hand. My left hand will come around the neck of the guitar and my fingers will go on the strings on the fretboard. My feet are flat. I don't have my legs crossed. My back is up straight. My spine is tall. My right arm comes over the top of the guitar. Here, I'm just going to do this so you can see. Um, and rests over the sound hole. You can play it here. You can play it here. But you get your best sound if you're playing it right over the sound hole. Um, you know, it depends on how big your guitar is and how big you are. Uh, so that might be a little bit one way or the other. Not the biggest deal. So don't worry about that. Your left hand, as I said, comes underneath and your, here I'm turning around, your thumb is going to be on the back of the middle of the neck, right behind where your other fingers are, because you're going to be thinking about your hand like a clamp on the neck of the guitar, right? You could push as hard as you want on the front, but if you don't have something pushing back, you're just going to chasing your guitar around your body. That's doesn't help you play. Um, so your thumb is going to push back when your finger is on the front, push this way and you're going to clamp the neck. Um, that's what helps you create new notes. Everywhere you put your finger on a string creates a new note. play those notes in combination with one another, that's what makes chords. And we will get into all that later on. But for now, this is just parts of the guitar, how to hold the guitar, what your hands do, and that's enough for now. All right. We'll see you later on in the next video. Okay, bye.